So you're either here looking for gift ideas, you're a big spender, you like the latest and greatest tech stuff from Apple, or all three. Either way, here's my list of the top five gifts to give yourself or your loved ones this year from Apple. Number one. MacBook Pro M3 2023. If you keep up with Apple releases, this one should be the most obvious. Apple only just released their newest MacBook Pro with the latest M3 chip. For a portable computer, this is one of the most powerful there is. You can get it in both 14 and 16 inches, but you'll have to decide which is the right size for you. 14 inch is better for people who travel a lot and spend less time on their laptop, and the 16 inch is pretty much the opposite. It's better for people who travel less and spend more time on their laptop. Unless you're like me, who travels a lot and spends a lot of time on their laptop, in which case I got the 16 inch. Next, number two, iPhone 15 Pro. Even people who don't follow Apple know about the latest iPhone release. This year, the display is more immersive than it used to be with smaller bezels. It has more durability on the sides with a titanium strip. And of course, it has a new chip inside this year and an upgraded camera system, like usual. As well as now changing the charging port from Lightning to USB-C to make it easier to, of course, charge in today's charging world. I'm not gonna list every new feature that they added to the new iPhone, but one of the other main reasons why I'd suggest a pro model phone is just to have that little bit extra flexibility with the camera system. For example, with the 48 megapixel sensor, technically both the standard iPhone 15 and the pro model have a 48 megapixel sensor this year. But the pro sensor is a little bit bigger, which means a little bit more light being let into the sensor, which means overall better low light photography. As well as the fact that the Pro has an extra lens altogether, the three times zoom lens, which a standard one doesn't have at all. Next, number three, AirPods Pro 2. This is Apple's most recent AirPods release. I personally got these recently and I can't recommend them enough. As you might know, I go to the gym frequently and these have been absolutely perfect for even my tough and sweaty workouts. Next, number four, Apple Watch Series 9 or Ultra 2. So I'm suggesting here either the best middle ground watch, which I'd say aka Series 9, or the top tier Watch Ultra 2. Both released this year and they have all the latest features you'd want. The Series 9 is for the people who want the affordable, not extreme use watch. And the Ultra 2 is either for those who want it for specific features or want it for being the most durable and longest lasting Apple Watch. The Ultra 2's battery life is the thing that appealed to me the most and it's the feature that pushed me into getting it. One of the things I dislike the most about the Apple Watch, and yes there's things I dislike, is having to think about charging my watch. And when I have to charge it, that means more time on the charger and less time on my wrist. I don't know how many times I've walked out the door heading to the gym and forgotten my watch on the nightstand charging. And now I don't have to worry about that at all. I realize I keep pointing to this. There's obviously other features I enjoy about it, but I'm not here to list the features. I'm just here to list the products. Next, number five, Apple TV 4K 2022 model. Lastly, I'm recommending the latest Apple TV 4K. In 2022, Apple re-released the Apple TV 4K with a redesign of the remote and a reduction of size and weight in the main unit. This Apple TV 4K is now about 20% smaller and over 50% lighter than it used to be. Not that that matters a whole lot when it's just sitting there in the room on the TV stand, but hey, if it's not on the wall, you have more room for the TV on the stand than the Apple TV. I realize this is getting confusing because Apple TV is called TV, but it's not actually a TV. Then you got a TV, real TV. Anyway, the remote should now be easier to use and navigate with compared to the old Apple TV as well. And don't forget, if you need an Ethernet port to connect to the Apple TV or you want one for the internet, you're gonna have to buy the 128 gigabyte model. Also keep in mind you need an actual TV to use with the Apple TV because as I said before, it's not an actual TV, so you need a TV to plug the Apple TV into. Got it? Just want to say though, overall, it's a more enjoyable experience to use an Apple TV with your TV than using just the TV system software. I mean, I'm sure you can imagine what it's like if you don't have one. It's basically using like an iPhone connected to your TV. Unless you have a fancy TV already, in which case this gift won't really apply to you at all. Those are the top five gifts I'd recommend from Apple for this year. I've left links in the description if any of these products that I mentioned stood out to you and you're interested in checking them out. Happy holidays and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.